Hi, I'm Phil the Ninja Green and today we're going to be putting some fun in the fundamentals. I'll be teaching a very basic striking combination but as far as if you can master the basics you will have a great understanding of how to apply. Let's say if it hits the fan, things go south and you got to fight your way out. So today I'll be discussing the jab, the cross, the lead kick and the rear kick. Now getting into it, first off when you take your stance you want you want to have a good defense position. As far as there's four concepts you'd have to understand, go into more detail, blah, blah, blah. It's called defense, control, position, submission. That's what you're looking for in a jiu-jitsu world. That's what you're looking for in a boxing world. That's what you're looking for in the kickboxing world. You want to start off with good defense. This is not good defense. What you want to do, make your body a smaller target to be hit. And then you want to answer the phone with each hand as far as that way you can block your brain housing group because your greatest weapon is your mind. So you have your defensive stand here leading with the shoulder. Now you may notice as far as the only vulnerable target you will see is the front of my face. But we'll go into slipping combinations and everything. So from here, the first thing you're going to start with is the jab. Now with the jab, you're not just punching out and trying to use your arm to hit your opponent. You're going to actually use your full body for a jab. With the jab, you're going to step forward, bring your hand out, thumb down. Notice, you're giving your opponent the thumbs down. Why? Because you do not approve of him standing in front of you. So from here, jab, boom. That is the jab. How would the jab look on the back? As far as right here, leading with the shoulder, jab, bam. The jab is going out. Where the jab would be most applicable? The jab is great for movement. If you want to move towards your opponent, you don't just run at them with hand up, just ready to sock them. No, you get close by jabbing your way in. That way, you're keeping your opponent in the defensive position and you have freedom to move. Now, the next move we're going to discuss is the cross. As far as if you could throw a softball or a baseball, then you could throw a cross. Because the cross is not taking your arm and trying to sock like it's whack-a-mole. No, not at all. What you want to do is, is starting from the legs all the way up as far as your pivoting. Notice my hip is moving in a 45 degree angle. That is where the power comes from for the cross. As far as you want to pivot, and then just like that jab, you want that cross to go out there. Slight notice, I'm keeping my defense up on the other side. I'm not gonna just throw the cross out there enough to get whacked. <laughs> so keeping the defense up is the cross. So jab and cross. So how that would be applied to the back as far as notice, again, the defensive stance, it's gonna be step jab, then a cross. So step jab, then a cross. Now we're going to go into kick techniques. As far as with kicks, uh, a lot of people may they plant their heel and then they try to swing their leg. It looks all awkward and weird. So we're going to clean up that technique a little bit. So if you're watching this and you're like, ooh, yeah, this is where you definitely want to take note. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the rear kick. With the rear kick, I don't want to just try to swing my leg over. Notice my balance is all off. I want to take an open stance and then get up off that hill. As far as so open stance, up off the hill, and then by pivoting that hill out, it's stretching the hip like a rubber band. You're stretching it. What happens if you let go of one end? Boom! It swings through. So you're going to pivot out, lift up that hill. What you want to do with this other knee, this is an insider tip as far as not too many people would explain this, but what you want to do with this other knee, aim for your opponent's shoulder blade. If you can aim your knee at their shoulder blade, you're guaranteed the head kick every time without too much difficulty. So you're there, jab, cross, open that hip, boom, rear kick. Now, the lead kick, with the lead kick, what you would want to do one, pivot out that back heel, come up, and what you're going to do, you're going to transfer your body weight to that leg. So with the lead kick, it will be jab, cross, transfer, and you'll get the kick every time. Now, we'd have to go into more detail about tactics and techniques, 
on when it'll be best to apply the lead kick and best to apply the rear kick. But a simple combination, I would recommend that you practice and you practice highly. You'll be like, but it's only one combination. What about all these other ones? You practice this one combination, you become effective at this one combination, you'll be guaranteed to land it. I believe it's Bruce Lee who said, he doesn't fear the man who practices a thousand punches, but he fears the man who practiced one punch a thousand times. The basic combination would be a jab, cross, and as you're leaning into the cross, you're also setting up your leg kick. So jab, cross, rear kick. Once again, jab, cross, rear kick. And again, I am Phil, and that is our ninja moves of the day. Whoa, little ninja. ninja. <laughs>